All right, so the next section is just going into the nano and what nano is. Just to get an understanding of, of uh, the term the dictionary of, of nano, it's, it's a tiny, tiny uh, one billionth or factor or 10 to the minus nine factor. So we're dealing with uh, very tiny, tiny um, particles, um, what we call is the nano. So very, very tiny. In terms of the basic terms and definitions for nano, we, uh, when we're talking of, of on a plasma basis, it's the individuality of, of tiny entities in nanoscale, such as atoms within a molecular structure which are independent and dynamic. So nanomaterials are independent of temperature and pressure due to their individuality of atoms. And we'll explain that in a bit more detail. And that's the point where I need Flint to play the uh, nano video that the Foundation has produced. In the, in the physical matter state, changes in the environment, temperature and pressure result in different states of matter. Modifying the environment in a magnetic gravitational manner, we can convert physical matter state into monoatomic state, into nano layers. So you see the physical matter and there are the monoatomic state nano layers. The caustic process of nano coating is achieved by adding heat, water and sodium hydroxide. The interaction of the environment with the copper creates a gap for the nano layers to form. So you see the physical piece of copper and it's in that caustic environment. So that caustic environment loosens the bonds between your different atoms so that they re slightly reposition themselves. They're still attached to the matter, but they have moved, they've changed their magnetical gravitational and have moved position from direct contact. So although the nanolayers form with gaps both in respect to each other and physical matter, they're still connected to the matter but have that they position themselves. They're not free and independent from the physical matter. They are connected through gravitational magnetic field connection. So the physical matter state is densely packed, molecular attachment depending on temperature and pressure. The monoatomic layer, nanolayer position themselves and are connected through gravitational magnetic fields. The nanolayers share connection to each other and to the physical matter structure. That connection is the fields. Nanolayer formation is replacement by positioning of the gravitational magnetic field stream. This occurs from the inner physical matter structure to the outer monoatomic structure. Atoms from the physical matter reposition themselves within the nanolayers dependent upon the strength of the gravitational magnetic field. So they just find their position depending on their strength. These nanoparticles don't get stuck, they find a gap and accommodate each other. The gaps within the nano layers are not uniform.
these magnetic field gaps hold capacitance and contain a spectrum of fields. This separation gap is energy of gravitational magnetic fields. The matter's part of the nanolayer continuously release fields to maintain this gap. This release of fields maintain their position and balanced presence in respect to the environment as well. These released fields amalgamate into the gaps, becoming the center of energy and information. These gaps are magnetic envelopes which contain the plasma within the nanolayers. These nanolayers vary in their gap and therefore field strength. These layers interact with each other, producing a vast spectrum of gravitational magnetic fields. They absorb all the spectrum of the magnetic fields, which is why they appear dark. Drying stage of the nanocoating process is a way for the layers to stabilize. The fields link to each other and find the balance. <coughs> the use of a voltmeter during the drying stage aids the stabilization and connection. Electrical current aligns and establishes a line of flow through the nano layers. It is important to understand that nano layers are not two dimensional. They operate in three dimension. Successful nanocoating process on copper will result in material turning black. This is testament to the efficient efficacy of the nanolayers in their absorption of magnetic fields. These nanolayers are now tens of thousands deep. As nanolayers are three-dimensional, so are the magnetic field containers, the gaps. The breakthrough with nanolayers is the creation of this magnetic field container. This magnetic field container holds onto plasma energy and information. Plasmatic magnetic fields are not able to be captured by these magnetic field containers. Fields of matching strength with the magnetic field gap are attracted and link up. Okay, so that's a great video to illustrate what the, the nanolayers, how the nanolayers are formed and, and what, why we need to create these nanolayers. So as we explained in the first section, the existence and interaction of dynamic and different strengths, speeds, densities, magnetic fields leads to what we see as planets, galaxies, plants, animals, molecules, and atoms. So everything is fields. So how do we interact with these fields? 
And we interact with these fields through the nano layers. So we've gone from the matter state, which is our piece of our copper, for example, and we have nano coats of the copper, and now we have the same piece of copper, but now it's got thousands of layers of nanoparticles on there. So if we just explain a little bit on, on what's happening in that video. So we know what the matter state is. Everything that we see that is tangible, we call it, we call it matter. Whether it was a plant, a piece of plastic or a piece of steel, we've always known it as, well, that's, that's matter. They are all made up of a structure which is little balls packed together. We call it matter, but in fact it should be called plasmas. We have these little balls sitting next to each other, tightly packed. These are like magnets, and when you put them next to each other, they will find their distance from each other. So that's essentially what our matter state is, and if you have a look at that picture at the bottom there, it could be a copper or copper atoms sitting next to each other on, on a copper wire. So when we go to a matter, to the nanostate. So if we apply heat or we put a current into it, if we apply heat through the caustic environment, um, it becomes separated and will look like this. So we can see that those tiny balls that were very tightly packed um, are released and so they'll find their position, so they'll move further away from each other, still connected, but now they're further apart. And the copper wire then looks black, but we have at least 30,000 layers of these little balls on top of each other, and that's our nano layer that we create. And it's black because we're basically absorbing, it's able to absorb the full light spectrum, um, and that's why we see it as black. So why do we use these layers? So the nano layers are the interface, it's the connection to all the fields around us. It's these nano layers that allows us to start interacting with these fields. Because we have loosened the bonding between the atoms, it allows more fields to pass through these gaps. And we can also describe the nano layers as filters because different nano layers will only allow certain fields to pass through. And when we begin to understand how to really start making different nano layers for different purposes, you'll be able to see that they act as certain filters and so we'll, if we only want certain amount of certain type of fields coming through um, that's what we'll create so that only those fields come through. So there's just another picture to try and illustrate so even in the matter state if you had a look at all those little round um, atoms each one of those little atoms still has its own magnetic gravitational field but are very very tightly packed and so when we create that different condition for them, um, that, that bonding loosens and so the, the tiny atoms move further away from each other, still connected with each other, but now we have those gaps between them and then that's the gap that allows the fields from the environment to start coming in and interacting. And now we can understand why the paint pen works so well. It's because it's the nano layers on the copper wire which allows the fields of your body and the environment to flow through the pen, through the nano layers on that pen. In the next workshops, we will go through and show you the, the whole process to create your own nano layers on your copper plates or copper wires. So the summary for the introduction to why we we end up creating nano layers and what's the purpose of it is because these, these nano layers allows us to interact with the fields that are all around us. And these nano layers also act as filters, only allowing certain fields to flow through. And you'll see how this becomes quite important when we look in the health aspects for the body and for the plants, is that we get this filtering effect um, in our body and in plants and in the environment all around us.